Welcome to the Business Finance Bulletin, episode 273. Hi, welcome again to the latest Business Finance Bulletin. With me, Rob Warlow from Business Loan Services, the commercial finance experts. In this bulletin, cash flow pressures increasing in these uncertain times advice and tools to better manage cash flow and more businesses focusing on cost cutting. In the Business Finance Bulletin, episode 271, I looked at the question, are we in a recession? The one part of that segment was the fact that over the preceding couple of weeks, I'd seen a number of instances where businesses were now being slapped with county court judgments or CCJs. Yet their suppliers were no longer prepared to wait for payment and were now acting tough. The reason? Well, probably because they were suffering from their own cash flow problems and desperately needed that money in. Now, this increasing cash flow pressure in the economy has been brought home by a new survey carried out by Hitachi Capital Business Finance. This survey found that of those businesses suffering from late payment, 40% of them said they are now taking legal action. That's up from 31% 12 months ago. So you can see businesses are getting tough where they suffer from late payment. Now, what's the knock-on effect? Well, if you think about it, your suppliers, you're putting them in a poor cash flow position. And 36% of those suppliers said, yep, we are so cash constrained that we are now paying our suppliers late. And 35% say that they're now resorting to short-term finance. Now, short-term finance, we're a great advocate of it. It has its place, but it is expensive. So you can see there's a lot of cash flow pressure beginning to build up in the economy in these uncertain times. If you are suffering from cash flow pressure yourself, remember the key thing is to communicate with your creditors. Tell your suppliers where you're at and more importantly what you're doing to try and make sure that they get paid on time. Let's continue on this topic of cash flow by looking at better management of cash flow. Now, in the previous segment, I mentioned that it really is important now that you manage cash flow proactively in these uncertain times. That old adage about cash is king has never been truer. Now, a new survey caught my eye carried out by Market Invoice, the online invoice discounter. And they found out that 52% of small business owners say they are still using spreadsheets and paper when it comes to tracking cash flow. Only 18% of them are using any sort of online accounting software package. When it comes to advice, only 30% of them are using external advice such as accountants. Now, what's the impact of all of this, particularly around poorly managed cash flow? Well, 87% of those businesses who said they do suffer from poor cash flow have said they've been prevented from taking orders. That's a really bad sign for your business. So what can you do? Well, remember I said, Cash is king, so therefore you need to be all over it. Make sure you've got the latest tools for monitoring and tracking your cash flow and be tough on your customers. Make sure you get that money in as quick as you can by being clear on terms and chasing those invoices hard. Manage your cash flow to make sure you keep your business afloat. Let's turn away now from cash flow to look at something equally important, and that's managing costs. Now, over the last couple of weeks, I've been interacting with a number of businesses that have suffered a big hit. They've lost a large order, they've lost a big customer, and for the first time, it's made them sit down and analyze their cost base. Now, we know when times are good, many business owners, you, you can be a little bit complacent when it comes to really ruthlessly tackling all of your costs. And it's only when your back's against the wall do you start waking up. Well, a new service they came out from Deloitte and it found that of the CFOs, the chief financial officers of the big firms, 58% of them say that cost cutting is now a major focus for them. They realize that they've got to start pulling back. Now, it's not a case of cutting cost out for cost sakes. It's making sure that you are getting the very best deal. So I want to make sure that you, on a regular basis, you sit down, pull out your accounting information, Pull out your bank statements and go through each of them line by line, category by category, and ask yourself the question, number one, do I need that cost? 
And if you do, question number two, when did I last challenge the supplier to make sure I'm getting a good deal? And number three, if I haven't done it for a while, right, do I need to tender out to get, say, three quotes? Or do I just need to speak to my supplier and really tell him that he's got to do better on pricing? In these times, you've got to make sure that you're getting every penny squeezed out of your business. So don't let any cost go unchallenged. If you need help, there are many procurement firms out there and I'm more than happy to introduce you to a procurement expert who can help you go through this whole exercise. So remember, every penny counts. Make sure it stays in your pocket, not your supplier's pockets. bulletin as ever i hope you enjoyed watching it and if you did please don't forget to give it a like and a share so that's it look forward to being with you next time in the meantime have a great successful and profitable week